Hey Joe, I'm just going to show you how to make a few changes, uh, mainly to the text and uh, gallery images. Um, the slider on the front page is a bit more complicated as it's drawn from a Photoshop file, so I can make changes to that, but we'll just focus on the text and basic changes for now. Um, to get to the control panel to make the changes, you use this link, which is is forward slash WP admin. I'll write all this down in an email for you. Uh, so once you do go to that address, it should bring you to the login screen. Um, I can set you up a, a new account or you can just use the existing admin one. So once you've logged in, this is the control panel that controls everything from your pages to your blog posts and stuff like that. Um, so with your site, it's, they're all a little bit different. Um, the home page content in the columns is in what's called a widget. Now these are just predetermined little boxes that make our life a bit easier from a design point of view. Now once you click on widgets you'll get this screen. Now down the side here are uh, all of the widgets that are associated with your website. Some of them we're not using, some of them we are. Um, so your sidebar for your blog is in here. I'll show you how to use that later if you want to change it. But the four columns of your home page are in home page column one, two, three, and four. Uh, and I think the contact bar with your details in it is in one of these here. Maybe it's before content. But anyway, in here, once you click on that arrow, it'll show you that there's a little text box in here. So inside here, um, there's a little bit of code in here. Don't get too disorientated by it. Just ignore it because it's usually just the pictures and where they link to. What you want to focus on mainly is just the text. And it's usually, you can find the paragraphs. They stick out a bit. So if you were to change anything in there, just you know put your cursor wherever you want to change the text. And then click Save. And then make sure you close these little tabs because sometimes it's a bit buggy and it might not save what you've done. And then what I do to make sure it's all saved is I use this link up the top to then navigate back out to the to the page to make sure the changes are put in there. So that'll if I made any changes in there, they'd show up in this one here. And it's the same for these columns here. So you can use this bar across the top. If you click dashboard, it'll take you back into the control panel. So I'll show you the widgets section again. So that we were looking at column one. That's the first heading. You've got column two. There's your text in there. These this bit of code here is just a link to the timber panel detailing and the concrete panel detailing. Um, if you're a little confused by that, just let me know. I don't mind doing fixes for people. Um, Alrighty, so that's how you change the the main home page. So the home page is different to the rest of the pages on the site because it does use the widgets. If you wanted to make changes to the steel detailing or the timber panel detailing, you would click on this pages heading over here. And this just shows a list of all the pages that are currently on the website. So if we were to go into concrete panel detailing, make sure you click the edit button it'll bring up the content that's in here now I'll just explain some of the things that are going on here um, you can see some of the headings like services um, they get put inside these little brackets and that just tells it what what to be so the text would be heading one um, heading ones are important for your ranking in Google um, because they read sort of like a chapter if you've got heading one heading two and then if you've got some more sub -menu menus, you can use H3s, but it identifies what content's on the page by the heading structure. So if you needed to change your headings, you can change these text here. So that's a heading to H2. Now anything that's in a list, which is sort of like your dot points, they'll be inside these ones called LIs. So if you wanted to change what's in your list, just change the text inside the little brackets and try not to delete anything that's inside of a bracket or the bracket itself. 
So you, if and if you needed to add another point, um, what I would do is go to the last one. You can sort of tell where the list starts and ends by the UL. The UL brackets are the start and ending points for a list. So if I wanted to add another point into this list, I would just go to the end of this one, do my little LI to open it, um, type my list item, and then you want to close the list item. So LI like that. Now once you're happy with some of the edits made on your site, you can go over to this button here which is update and that'll update it. If you want to have a look before you actually apply it, you can preview the changes. So I'll preview that just to show you what happens. A new window will open up. And you can see that our list item new is now in here. And it's got a little dot point. So if I wanted to run with those changes, I would just click the update button. Otherwise you can just leave the page and it'll discard any changes that you've made until you update it. So I'll just delete that anyway, just in case. Um, the next thing that I might show you, if you do make a mistake and you're a bit worried about how to fix it quickly, there are these revisions down here. So every time you click update, it'll save it as a revision. So if you wanted to go back a few steps, you could click on the revision and it'll show you the code of what what was previously there and if you want to keep that revision make sure you go to the one that you just clicked on which is usually down here it'll show the, the one that's currently at the top so just make sure it's the right one you want to click on and then just click restore and that will take you back if you have any problems or you can just contact us we don't mind fixing it up alrighty you can also add pictures into um, this area of the page as well. Uh, what I have done for the gallery though is this is your gallery code here. Um, that keeps it nice and neatly in these square boxes here. Um, but if you wanted to add something you could go to the end of the list maybe and if you go up here you upload insert tools you can add an image. So what that does is it brings up a new box you can select the file that you want to upload Try something small so we don't destroy everything. So we wanted to put a logo into the post. So that's uploading now. It's uploading onto your web hosting account. Now it gives you a few options. Um, the main ones you want to focus on is the alignment, where you want to put it in the page, left, center, or right. Um, these aren't the most precise measures of doing this, but getting it to sit exactly where you want takes a bit of coding. But you know, if you want to roughly set it up, you can do it. So you might just put it to the left side. Um, usually, if it's a bigger image, you can get a you know a small, medium, large. It'll actually allow you to click on different sizes. But because this image is only small, um, it's giving me full size of thumbnail. So what you can do then is then click the insert into post. And what that does is then puts the code for the image inside there. Now that'll show up and I can show you a few more technical things. Um, so I'll just update the page and show you what it show you what that, that'll do. So now if you want to look at it, you can click the view page or that'll open a new tab, that'll change on this window so I usually open a new tab so I can click back and forth. Um, so now you can see that your logo has been put in there. Um, if you want to link images to another page what you do is you use this little tag in here called ahref that usually just signals um, a linking address. So at the moment it's linking to itself so if you click on the image it will just bring up a little light box. Um, your site's quite nice that it does that. Sometimes it will just show up in the top left corner. Um, so if we wanted to make that logo link to another part of the page, you could go over to your website, maybe your contact page, right click it, copy the link address, go back over to here, 
And you'll notice where it starts and finishes is with these little commas. So if you just highlight it between the little commas, pasted it in there, and now it'll update. So you do need to refresh your page if you've already got it open. Um, so you can click refresh or just press F5. So now that we've changed the link, instead of opening a picture, it'll go to your contact page. So you can do quite a few things if you want with the images like that. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you was adding stuff to the galleries. Uh, if you come down here, there's a gallery tab. Now, this is an external plugin that allows us to make a nice gallery and save time. So once you click on this, it's got a whole bunch of options it'll drop down. Um, you can make new galleries if you need to, but I'll help you set them up if you do because it can be a little difficult. Um, so if you want to add gallery images to certain ones, we've set a few up at the moment. So at the moment we've got Patrick's Terminal, Springvale Road Station, your library, tilt panel, steel detailing. I'd imagine you'd want another set for timber detailing. So I'll do that now actually. So I'll go to add a new gallery, you've got to go to the Manage Gallery section. Oh actually, no you don't. <laughs> um, you just need to go on this tab here, add new gallery. So give it a name. Timber detailing, we'll add the gallery. Okay, now if it'll appear in here. So now it's at the top, it's number six gallery, timber detailing. So what we can do is make sure you, you, you've clicked on one into, otherwise you'll upload images and they won't go anywhere, it's a bit of a pain. Um, so now browse what images you want. You can um, select a whole bunch actually. The, the plug's quite nice. You can highlight, grab them all, go open. It'll show that they're there. Then all you have to do is then click upload images and it'll run you through those there. I won't let it finish because um, I'll wait for some images from you to put into there. Or you can do it yourself if you're feeling brave. Uh, so if we wanted to add images to existing galleries, it's pretty simple, it's just the same process, just make sure you pick one of the galleries that already exists and then upload your pictures. What you do have to do if you're planning on adding the gallery to another part of the page, you have to make sure there's what's called a short code on the page itself. Now I'll just open this pages setting again and I'll show you what this little short code does. It basically just lets the site know that you want it on this page and whereabouts you want it. And if you don't put it in, it's not going to show up. So it's just this little one here, NG Gallery ID. And to change the gallery type, you just need to change the number in there. So at the moment, gallery number one is the steel detailing. So if we wanted to change it to the timber detailing, gallery, I just come in here, find the little NG gallery thing and change the number 1 to number 6 and then update. I won't do that because there's nothing in there. So if you wanted to put a gallery on a new page, just come back into the, the steel detailing page or I can make sure the short code's written down for you in an email. It's pretty to handy to have just somewhere easy, maybe even in a Word document so you can just open it and copy the codes rather than fishing around the site trying to find them. So I just copy that short code. Uh, I'll go to a page that I know we're going to need one on there. There might even be one in there. But in the timber detailing section we edit it and we've already got one in here but I would just post it in between these half um, brackets. That just means the page has been separated in half. That's the first half of the page and that's the second half of the page, the one half last. So I'll just put it in there, 